So we've got a request from Chinti Paul, and he's requested Nymphadora Tonks, which we, if you know, you know that she's in Harry Potter and we love her. So she's a good guy. She's one of the good ones. We're gonna start off with her face. We're gonna do an oval, but we're gonna add to it. So. So we have an oval. Just trying to make the oval look decent. Decent looking oval here. And then for her chin, we are going to th make this come off the oval. Bring down the chin here. And then we'll bring it down here. So then you can erase the bottom of this and then we have pretty much the shape of her face. Just the way we want it. Line down the middle, and we will go line across. Okay, so on that line, we're gonna do her eyes. Her eyes, she's kind of like looking up, and we're just going to, don't make the rainbow go all the way across. Like this. Then you wanna make the little ducks right there. And then along the bottom, bring it down, and then have it come up and touch, okay? Down, and then touch. All right, and then in there, we can make her have lashes coming off of here. And her crease line is gonna go on it, so it's actually going right on the line, okay? So she's looking up, like kind of like up at you with her head down. So these are eyes, so you're gonna see the whites of her eyes at the bottom. Then you get the shiny in there and then the pupil. Shiny pupil. All right, now she I, I had to look at her eyebrows. She actually has very cool shaped eyebrows. So we're gonna go slightly up and over like this. Now in this one, it's thin here. It goes out, then it comes in and then touches. So if you go look at them, you'll be like, oh wow, I didn't realize how cool they are. They're actually really cool eyebrows, okay? Those are her eyebrows. And then right here, we wanna put a jelly button nose and then just the, where her mouth's gonna be, okay? And then what we'll do up here, this is gonna be her hairline. So right here in the middle, make it come up on one side and then make it come up on the other side, okay? Just like that. So now we can erase the T-bar. What else do I know? Okay, she was an or and what they are is they are the best defense against the dark arts. You have to have courage, wit, and a strong stomach. Hmm, <laughs> pretty funny. Okay, for her nose, we're gonna make it slightly arched, but not too much. And then just bring this up just a little bit on that side, okay? And then for her mouth, we're gonna make her having like, um, like an upturn. So she's she's got this little glare like, mm-hmm, yeah, I don't think so, buddy. And this is her bottom lip. I'm not finishing in the whole thing. And then she just has a slight upper lip. Did not do well there. Let's try this again. So I'm just making a little bowl there. But we'll fill that in with color. You know what? Do I want the bottom lip? I mean the top lip? I don't know. Maybe we'll just do a little bowl and see how that looks. Because right now I'm not, not liking it. Okay, we're gonna smooth out her face. So I want you to bring her face in. It's not, let's try to make it smoother. I realize I want it a little touch smoother, not so angular. Usually if you do guys, you're gonna make them a little more strong jawed. But since she is female, okay. Get rid of the butt chin. All right, so her, oh, let's get rid of this up here. We don't need the top now, now that we have the hairline. So she has ears in there. You can't really see them, but they're there. And then she has earrings on. So we're just gonna do little um, C's. We have, so this is a front way C and we have a backward C. And now let's get her hair going on. So right here, she has a swoop over hair, which looks awesome. And then you're gonna do a couple more swoop overs. Actually, what we'll do is we will do this little, we'll do one more swoop right here in the middle, swoop it over but we're gonna make this come, it's gonna go into her hair. So we swooped it, but we're gonna make it come down. 
there we go. And then she's got this hair I made coming down right here. It's like touching her eye and then you bring it back up, okay? And then you can put a couple more hairs coming in. All right, and you can add some more hairs going swoosh. Super job. Okay, so let's do the other side. It's coming out the top here. Make a slight wave to it. And then so we're gonna have some hair coming out of her head. And if you want, you can now bring this going up. You have another hair coming down. I added another hair here, but I don't know if I like it, but it's there. All right, I'm not gonna do any more near hair because I want it to go behind her. All right, so we are gonna have a couple more hairs that are gonna come out here. And I put a little swoosh coming out there. All right, I'm not gonna do the, the back hair. So now let's get her neck in there. Actually, I think, so we can see part of her ear. So her neck will make come down like this. And then she's got a choker on. And I ended up coloring this all in, because it's black. So make a choker around her neck. And it, so this will end up being sharpied in. And then I made little, they look like buttons or shells or things like that. So pieces that are hanging off of it, color those brown. Okay. So now from here, we want to do, this is her shoulders, a V. So it's going to go down and then up. We're turning that into her, her jacket behind it. So we're going to make this come in and behind it, and this one's gonna go around and behind. In the picture I saw, it. this was red, um, but I just thought it looked like it clashed with her pink magenta hair, so I changed it to blue. But as an artist, you can change it to however you want. And she could have had different color hair, but I loved this color hair. So we're gonna put a couple of streak lines down here. And so she is, um, uh, She's half blood. She's a British half blood, and she's a metamorph. Oh, I'm gonna spell do this wrong. Metamorphamongus. Ay ay ay. I think I did that one wrong. Okay, put another V here. It just means that she can um, change her appearance different ways. So she can change her hair color and her face structure and things like that. That's pretty cool. And one thing I don't know, which would be very good to find out. And if you know, you can comment below. Was she born with that talent or was that something she had to learn? Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, we're going to put these little dots in here. I guess they're like buttons. Snaps. All the way along. This in the movie, she changes her hair color and then she changes her face to be a duck face. Okay, off of the side here, on each side. This is the shoulders. Then we can bring the shoulders down. And this one, we're gonna have her holding. She'd be holding her wand. Okay, so this is gonna be her thumb. It's gonna come up. And this is gonna be your other side. She's wearing, um, gloves it's like but they're fingerless gloves with this opening right here and some marks and inside is her in her hand is a wand okay so next up we're gonna put some of the buttons or snaps coming down here and then she's just gonna have the side of her jacket so that's the gist of it so now we are going to sharpie and color
So now I'm gonna take the big Sharpie and go around the outside and then color her necklace and her gloves. All right, let's erase. It is color time. So we're gonna start with the peach. As you can see, I was erasing and I crinkled my paper. Oh, that drives me bananas. Just ruins the whole picture. Color the whole thing just lightly over the whole thing with the peach. This is just the base coat on her skin. I'm going the same direction. Sometimes I don't, but I try to. But if I was coloring harder, I would. But sometimes you gotta get those little creases in there. Okay, so now you're gonna go around. Oh, we got this skin color too. Mm -hmm, thumb. Okay, so now go around the Sharpie. Make it a little bit darker. Around her necklace. What else do I know? Okay, she is an only child and she actually went to Hogwarts and she went from eight, 1984 to 1991. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. And she became her and Madai Moody were very close because I think she was trained under him and he kind of like protected her and he thought very highly of Tonks and thought she did a very good job. Okay, so you're gonna take this. Now we're gonna go around the eyes and then go along the nose on either side. Go under the nose, kind of go around. Go around the eyes. And we're gonna give a little bit more shadow right along this side. Oh, and well, we'll just do the lips with. Okay, now we're gonna take tan and we're gonna go more around the eyes. And this right underneath this, she kind of has like a, her makeup line right here. We're just gonna go right there and go above the eyes. And we're gonna go shade under here. Makes it look like the hair is coming over. And then go under the chin. Really good in there, okay? Around the whole outside of the face. Contour, we're giving it some contour. Ew, sounds fancy. Okay, so now for her eyes, what I did was this is light blue, darker at the top. And as you come down, lighter, light, darker and lighter. So it's almost like there's no color at the very bottom. There you go. Looking cool, same thing right here. This is the blue. What else do I know? Okay, her debut view of like when we first found out about her was in the Order of the Phoenix because she was an R. Okay. Um, R or, okay. So take your brown and go around these button shells. And her eyebrows are gonna be this dark color. Actually, I think they're regular brown, but I can add a little black in there. So I'm going to add a touch of black in her eyebrows. Yeah, that looks good. Take the gray. Do you have gray? Yes. So in the eyes, we're going to put a shadow right under here. And we are going to put a touch of pink right inside that little piece in there. And then I'm gonna color her lips pink and then I'll put a touch of magenta in there, but I think I made her lips a little too dark there. I guess she is a girl, so. 
maybe not. And then I gave her a little touch of pink cheeks here. All right. Oh, and for Christmas, you know what? She, she gave Harry Potter a present. You know what it was? It was a mini version of his Firebolt broom. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute. Okay, that is done. If you want to take a little, this is the only time you're going to use yellow is inside for the earrings. And we're going to get the magenta out for her hair. You want to put a little bit on the lips. It's right in the middle. So they look like they're coming in. And then now you can color the hair. So I'm going to color the hair all over the same color. And then I'm going to come back in and do the darker spots. But you might as well color it all in one. So get it done. What else do I, I think that's about it. But she's cool. She's like a cool, cool chick. Really cool. And she ends up marrying, I think she marries Lupin. Is that right? I'm pretty sure. You guys can comment and tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I'm pretty sure she marries Lupin. Um, and I think she had a kid with him. I, you know what? I need to go back and read all the books. It's been a while. It has been a while. I need to go and read them again. Sheesh. Kind of disappointed in my Harry Potter facts here. Come on, Michelle. Not gonna be able to, okay, I'm just gonna do one side. So I'm, I go around all where all the Sharpie is. I'm just pressing really down really hard. Wherever there's Sharpie, I'm just gonna press hard on it. Okay, this makes it look cool. And then you can make some of these pieces, especially under the under part here, you can fill them all in. Well, that's it, you're there, oops. Then you wanna take gray and black that we're gonna make, go underneath and make some of these pieces really dark. Especially like under here. Okay, so you can just keep working it. If you wanna put more grays and magentas and blacks in there, you can. Looks like I needed some more magenta in her hair. Okay, she's looking cool. So do that side. And this part is gray, right around the collar. This is gray, and I'm gonna push this a little bit harder because I want it to look like it's different than that. And then the rest, oh, we got her wand. I just did tan. You can pick a brown or a tan. I just used tan. And the rest, I just colored black. So hope you guys like it, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.